हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू मेडिनाज एकेडमी व्हेन यू फर्स्ट हियर द वर्ड हर्पीज यू मोस्टली थिंक ऑफ ओरल हर्पीज और जेनिटल हर्पीज बट डिड यू ऑल नो दैट देयर आर एट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ हर्पीज दैट कैन अफेक्ट ह्यूमंस मेनली हर्पीज इज अ टर्म कॉइंट ड्यू टू इंफेक्शन विद हर्पीज सिंप्लेक्स वायरस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर बेसिकली गोइंग टू डिस्कस टू टाइप्स ऑफ हर्पीज टाइप 1 एंड टाइप 2 Herpes simplex virus type 1 or oral herpes is mainly transmitted by oral to oral contact and sometimes by oral genital contact as the lesions are mainly seen around the mouth and lips it is called as herpes labialis or cold sores Herpes simplex virus type 2 or genital herpes is a sexually transmitted infection it is transmitted by genital to genital contact during sex causing infection in the genital or anal area Genital herpes is a chronic and lifelong viral infection. Both oral and genital herpes infections are mostly asymptomatic or unrecognized. HSV type 1 can cause painful blisters or ulcers at the site of infection. Most genital herpes are transmitted by persons unaware that they have the infection or who are asymptomatic when transmission occurs. A pregnant woman with a herpes virus can transmit the infection to her baby. during birth if the virus is active at that time in rare cases infection with hsv1 or hsv2 can lead to meningitis that is inflammation of the covering of the brain and spinal cord or encephalitis that is inflammation of the brain now let's see what is the treatment for herpes so as i've mentioned that herpes infection is non curable so why to treat the infection In herpes treatment can lessen the frequency or reduce the intensity of the outbreak. First let's discuss about the oral herpes management. During the infective period first thing you should take care is proper hydration. Drink plenty of water or juice to keep your body hydrated. If you're having pain and fever you can take over the counter medications like ibuprofen or simple paracetamol. You can also apply mucopen gel locally 5 minutes before the meal. This will reduce the pain and discomfort. Here one important thing you must remember is that never give aspirin to children. Viral diseases in children and aspirin is a dangerous combination. It can lead to potentially fatal condition called Graves syndrome. Now let's see which antiviral medications are helpful for oral herpes. Antiviral medications are those drugs that help our body to fight against viruses that are causing diseases or to reduce the severity and sometimes as a preventive method. Acyclovir tablet is commonly used. The recommended dose is 200 mg 5 times a day for 7 to 10 days. Valacyclovir or prodrug of acyclovir can also be used. In less severe cases, 5% topical acyclovir cream can be applied on the infection site 5 to 8 times a day. In recurrent infection, a single dose of 1500 mg famcyclovir is highly effective. Few cases are acyclovir resistant. So in that case, foscanet or sidofovir can be used. Here timing is crucial. Those medications are only useful if you use it within first 72 hours of the first tingling sensation. For genital herpes, acyclovir 400 mg orally 3 times a day for 7 to 10 days can be prescribed. Or famcyclovir 250 mg orally 3 times a day for 7 to 10 days. Or you can also take valacyclovir 1 g orally 2 times a day for 7 to 10 days. Treatment can be extended if healing is incomplete after 10 days of therapy. In severe cases, intravenous acyclovir is used, especially the infection which is not responding to oral therapy. Now let's talk about the herpetic eye infection. In this situation, topical acyclovir or pencyclovir is used. Debridement of the lesion is also necessary. So the most crucial step towards healing is having the right diagnosis. In pregnant women suffering from genital herpes it is extremely important to treat the mother before the birth of the child to prevent the transmission of this disease If the baby catches the virus during the birth or shortly thereafter then this can be fatal for the baby So make sure your OBGYN knows that you have genital herpes so that the necessary precautions can be taken 
Acyclovir has been found to be perfectly safe during pregnancy and has no side effect. Many times it is recommended to plan a C-section if you have primary active lesions just 6 weeks before the delivery. In case of neonatal infection, we use IV acyclovir 60 mg per kg for at least 21 days. In case of erythema multiform associated HSV infections, oral acyclovir 400 mg can be used thrice a day or valacyclovir 500 mg can be used twice a day. To treat your herpetic whitlow, we used oral acyclovir 200 mg 5 times a day for 7 to 10 days. So here are the 4 important things you should remember. If your child ever gets viral infection, never treat him with aspirin as it can cause fatal Reyes syndrome. Start antivirals within 72 hours when the first tingling sensation is felt. Always remember that prevention is so much better than cure because it saves the labor of being sick. So always practice a safe sex and avoid sexual activity when you have active lesions. People with active symptoms of oral herpes should avoid oral contact with others and sharing objects that have contact with saliva. They should also abstain from oral sex to avoid transmitting herpes to the genitals of the sexual partner. That's all for today. Hope you find this video helpful. If you like this video then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.